Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. In this video, we will be studying about the relational operators provided by the R programming language. So relational operators basically define the relation between two numeric values, whether one value is greater than the other, it is smaller than the other, or whether two values are equal to each other or not equal to each other. So we have six different kinds of relational operators that we would be discussing today and we would be performing these operations on two vectors. So we have the first vector named v1 which consists of a sequence of three values 1, 2 and 3 and another vector v2 which consists of another set of three values which is 5, 4 and 3. So starting with the first relational operator which is the greater than operator. So the greater than operator basically checks whether the value present on the left hand side is greater than the numeric value present on the right hand side of the operator. And when we apply this operation on vectors, the comparison is done element wise. That means corresponding element of the first vectors are compared with their respective elements in the second vector. So 1 will be compared with 5. The second element of V1 will be compared with the second element of V2 and so on. So let's start with the execution. I have executed the first two statements and then executing the greater than operator. So as you can see, we have obtained three values in the output, which is false, false and false. So the output of relational operations will always be a logical value, whether it will be true if the comparison holds true. Otherwise, it will be false if the comparison is false. All right. So in this case, since one is not greater than 5. That is why the first output is false. Similarly, 2 is not greater than 4 and 3 is also not greater than 3. That is why we have obtained false in all the three cases. Now coming to the second relational operation, which is the less than operation. So this is the complete opposite of the first case. In this, the first value, if it is less than the second value or the value present at the left hand side of the less than operator is less actually less than the value present at the right hand side of the operator then the output is true otherwise the output is false so when i execute the statement you can see in the first case since the first element of v1 is less than the first element of v2 so we have got the output as true the second case also 2 is less than 4 so the output is true but in the third case since 3 is not less than 3 itself so the output is false. Coming to the third relational operation which is the equal to operation or the equal to operator. This operator will return true as the name suggests when both the values on either side of this operator are equal to each other. So when I execute this statement, the output is false, false and true because only 3 is equal to its corresponding element 3 in vector v2 and other two elements are not equal to their corresponding elements in either of the vectors. So here we have got the output as false, false and true. Now when we combine the above three operators and create new relational operators then we get three more values or three more operators which are the less than equal to operator, the greater than equal to operator and the not equal to operator which is the reverse of the equal to operator. So coming to the less than equal to operator, this operator will return true when the corresponding elements are compared and these elements are either less than each other or they are equal to each other. Similarly, the greater than equal to operator will return true only when the element present on the left hand side of this operator is either greater than the element present on the right hand side or it is equal to that element. And the last case, the not equal to operator will return true only when both the elements compared are not equal to each other or they are different values. So let's execute the last three statements one by one. 
when i execute the less than equal to operator you can see the result is true in all the cases because in the first two cases the elements the first two elements of v1 are less than the first two elements of v2 but the third element is equal to the third element of v2 that is why we have got the value as true in all the three cases coming to the second last relational operator which is the greater than equal to operator in this case since the first two values of v1 are less than the first two values of v2 so we have got false in the first two cases but since this operation checks for two conditions whether greater than and equal to in the third case the third element of v1 is equal to the correspondingly third element of v2 so that is why the third output in this scenario is true here okay now in the last comparison where we are using the relational operator of not equal to let's execute and see that the output is true true and false which basically means that the first value of v1 is not equal to the first value of v2 that is why we have gotten true similarly the second value of each of these two vectors are not equal to each other so the output is true again but the third value of this vectors are equal to each other that is why the output is false so this was all about relational operators in r i hope you have understood this concept thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam